Namaskar, this is Mehul from Filter Concept. In our previous episode, we were discussing about air filtration for dust collection. So, in today's episode, we are going to discuss about the key parameters which one should evaluate while designing best filtration system for air, air filtration. So, uh, in our previous episode as we discuss uh, one is dust collection, second is product recovery system. Now, to design these two system, uh, let me give you a brief idea that uh, we have broadly two classification in this system. There are certain uh, industries, those who are more inclined towards a system called ESP, which is called electrostatic precipitator, wherein you have certain compartment chambers, wherein you activate them you charge them positively and that is how collection of dust is happening. But for me, uh, you know, uh, on an individual capacity, what I have understand that, uh, of course, for there are certain application ESP could be a good solution, but when we talk about a very precise or very accurate level of filtration, we, when we talk about very finer level of filtration, uh, probably dust collection system or bag filters are the safest design, are the economical design for industry. Now, let us move it further. As we discuss dust collection system, for designing we required certain parameters to evaluate, where the first important parameter is air volume or you can say the flow rate. So, the important parameter is what amount of air you are going to handle. So, based on, based on it your system would be designed. So, that is number one. Second is dust loading or we can say the suspended solid load available in the application. In our liquid filtration, we have understood that how suspended solid load contribute its importance while designing of a filtration system. Same way here in air filtration application also, it has the same relevance we have to be very precise and perfect while, uh, while evaluating this parameter. We have to evaluate what kind of dust we are going to handle, bulk density, nature of dust, the quantum of dust. So, these are the important parameter when we talk about uh, the right air filtration solution. Next is, uh, you know, uh, what static pressure available to us. I will try to share a general arrangement drawing of a dust collection system wherein, uh, you know, uh, how dust are generated or dust are collected from its generation, then it, it taken to the uh, dust collector blower and then finally it, it releases to the environment through chimney. So, that is a typical arrangement. It has a great relevance that your static pressure has to be adequate enough 
to handle the dust to handle the distance between your dust collector to your dust generation point now let me let me give you a further more input on this like say we have a, a powder grinding equipment any type of powder grinding equipment and powder is uh, you know uh, moving around into that processing area and and it's contaminating the environment so typically as a designer we'll make a suction hood on top of it so that uh, you know you can collect all the uh, you know a uh, dust which is moving around along with the air and then you take it to uh, from suction hood to uh, a duct then through duct it goes to uh, you know your dust collection system and then finally blower and chimney so that's the arrangement now normally uh, centrifugal blowers are used to generate static pressure negative pressure for collection of dust from its source when i am dealing with a heavier particle probably i need a little more suction pressure than general so the ideal suction pressure or i would say ideal static pressure required for dust collector to operate it's in the range of 300 to 350 mm water cooler i am saying for the operation of dust collector plus you'll have to count the distance between dust generation point to your dust collection and plus number of band involved because number of band will contribute a pressure drop so that has to be count while selecting your static pressure for the entire system so say for example 350 plus number of bands plus the distance what you are traveling so this entire parameter or this entire parameter need to be considered while selecting your static pressure for a dust collection system or a centrifugal blower so this is one one should really understand we have seen that some of the industries are are prefer to have a ready made models available in the market those who are designed by oem say for example if you are dealing with a a flow rate or air volume of say 10000 nm cube per hour and you are looking for a solution so typically uh, what i had seen that the standard equipment manufacturer would would take their catalogs would select you know uh, what capacity you required and what static pressure and then they'll they'll design the system no we really need to understand all this parameter each and every parameter is important otherwise you might not get the desired result if your static pressure is not calculated correctly probably you won't be able to extract the dust which is coming out of that that particular processing area or per processing unit it might not be collecting dust it might not be you know uh, uh, received at dust collector itself unless until you you take that air till the dust collector 
dust collector has nothing to perform on it. So, this is very important parameter to, to understand and to design the system. We, we discuss about uh, dust loading, we discuss about the nature of contaminants, bulk density of contaminants available. Again the same parameters which we discuss for liquid filtration all that nature of contaminants, nature of particles everything has to be evaluated in the same, same manner. Here now very important parameter one should take into consideration about the emission level requirement. As we discussed in our previous episode, country wise, industry wise you have a different range of emission level. When we talk about European and American countries probably their emission level requirement is bit stringent they are looking for emission level of less than 10 milligram per meter cube. In some of the area of, uh, of world, in Asian countries, it ranging from 50 to 150 milligram per meter cube. For India, it is like 50 to 150 gram, uh, 50 to 150 milligram per meter cube, depending upon the, uh, you know, the type of industry. So, that emission level has to be very clear because based on that the selection of media or selection of filter element will take place. So, uh, and lastly two important parameter working temperature and the application. Temperature again it is an important in terms of selecting your right filter media which is capable enough to handle that temperature and application to, to have the chemical compatibility suitable for that media for, for that application. Because we need to understand that for what application you are designing a system. If you are dealing with some of the toxic gases available, you have to select your filter medium accordingly. So, these are a key factors one should take into consideration while designing best adequate air filtration system for pollution control. So, I am sure that uh, the key parameters which we discussed are, are very well understood at your end. In case if you have any question on this parameter or in terms of identifying right air filtration system for your requirement, please feel free to ask us. So that is how we would be covering our uh, 10 episodes and I am sure as usual we will look forward to your valued comments and feedback on this gesture what we have started sharing our knowledge with all of you. Thank you so much for your lovely support so far. Thank you.